Hey, Busy Brains, it's Brian King. Now, before we jump in, I want to ask a few things of you. If you are catching this live, I would like you to type the number one in the comments. If you're catching the replay, please type in hashtag replay, and by all means, let me know where you are in the world. It's nice to know where everybody's from. I have a question for you to help frame this conversation. My question is, can you give me an example of any experience in life where losing something makes the situation better. One easy one that comes to mind is, well, if you lose weight, it's better because you're healthy. In my case, I have a, a skin condition that really made my, when I grow hair on my head, it gets really, really red and aggravated. So losing my hair, cutting it off, made the situation better. When I had cancer, losing the cancer made things a hell of a lot better. The, the multiple sclerosis I have, it, it's been kind of harder to wrap my mind around and be positive around, I'll, I'll admit. Making it more difficult to walk has definitely led to greater humility, greater need to ask people for help. I've had to form new relationships, people I never would have met otherwise, that's better. Now, a recent revelation that happened just in the past couple days which has been particularly hard to take. But it's a reality nonetheless. I had a doctor's appointment at the beginning of the week, and I was sharing with him some neurological changes that I've been having, most of which occur during when I'm driving. And we both concluded that it's probably best if I stop driving before I have to stop driving, you know, because I've caused an accident and they take my license away. So that realization has been very hard to swallow because having driven since I'm 17 years old, I like the independence. I like being able to just go somewhere when I want to, you know, run out and meet a friend for lunch and, you know, run and pick up, uh, you know, run to the store for my wife so she doesn't have to do it. So it was a major blow to my ego and my definition of independence to have to let go of that. So I've been really struggling with it the past couple of days, and I reached out to some people to help me through this. My first and foremost, of course, my best friend is my wife. And she said it very bluntly. She said, better to lose driving than to cost somebody their life, you know, than to lose a limb or anything like that. And I said, well, when you put it that way, yeah, it makes perfect sense. So I had to start thinking about how do I be okay with this? How, how do I make peace with this? Well, it took some feeling sorry for myself time, some grief. So as I was saying, how do I make peace with this fact that it's not a good idea for me to drive anymore? That I can't be a help in the way I once was, that I don't have the freedom to come and go as I please. And it hasn't been easy. You know, my ego struggles with it. I, I still have a little ways to go. Are in the puppies, they're still wound up. But what popped into my head was a metaphor that I return to quite often. And that's a quote from Michelangelo. His very famous sculpture, David, huge, like 25 foot statue. He carved David from a single piece of marble. And when it was finally done, somebody asked him, how did you do this in this masterpiece? How did you create it? And his response, I'm paraphrasing, because I wasn't there, of course. He said, well, I just removed everything that wasn't David. And I'm thinking, okay, so he started with this block of marble. And he needed to take things away in order for his vision to reach its potential. So I looked at that in reference to my situation. Because it seems for decades I've been losing, losing, losing. Making it more difficult to walk, sometimes making it difficult to think, losing some of my independence. And then I think about Michelangelo's statement. That sometimes you need to take things away for things to become their best. And yeah, loss sucks the big rhino, you know what I mean. But when you think about what the loss requires of you, it requires you to build character, to redefine your priorities, to become much more humble, 
to become much more interdependent. Another thing my wife reminded me of, that there are, fortunately where I live, there are robust services for seniors and people with disabilities. And one of those services is transportation to and from doctor's appointments and stuff. So I applied for those services this morning. So by using those services, it makes sure that the people who do the driving get to keep their jobs because I'm patronizing them. I'm getting to be more humble by relying upon people. So using this loss as a way to spread my wings in new ways. And one of my mantras is that every challenge that I encounter is an opportunity to be more resourceful. And that sure as hell is the case here. Having a tap into resources I've never had to use before. Thank goodness they're there. And another thing I'm going to have to keep tapping into is just that part of me that is able to keep things like this in perspective and still find my joy and still find my gratitude, even though it seems to me that I'm losing something. But I also need to keep in mind that maybe I'm just an extension of Michelangelo's David, as are you. And that by chipping away a lot of the stuff on the exterior, that's how you reach your potential inside. Get rid of the marble that is not David. Get rid of the stuff that is not you, and you'll find out what you're made of. And just when you think you've reached about as much of your potential as you can reach, more shit happens, and you have to dig even deeper. So I just wanted to share this with you in case there was some benefit. I hope it is. If so, please leave me something in the comments to let me know. And by all means, share this with somebody who can benefit from the message. And if you're not a member of my group yet, here on Facebook, Mindset Before Skill Set, please come over and join us. We'd love to have you. This has been Brian. Thanks for being here.